Hey, what's up? Silas here. I'm going to be talking about socialism here. Uh, there's this quote that uh, Donald Trump, President Donald J. Trump of the United States of America, he just had a speech at the United Nations. And this is today's the 19th of um, September in 2017. So he just gave this speech and he, he gave this excellent line that said, the problem in Venezuela is not that socialism has been poorly implemented, but that socialism has been faithfully implemented. Now, this quote is marvelous in so many different ways, and I've always had this idea with socialism. I don't understand people who support socialism. I don't know if I ever actually supported it, but I never actually knew what it was and could support it after. You know, some people say, oh, it sounds like a good idea, but when you actually try to do it, it doesn't turn out. But no, it doesn't even sound like a good idea. And I just did a video on um, universal basic intercourse to kind of show where you take out the income, which is what they say in socialism kind of ideas, or in the zeitgeist movement, which is another odd kind of movement that says, supply everybody a base level of income, and then everything else will just work itself out in this marvelous way. Okay, that's of course an absurd oversimplification of the issue. But when it comes down to it, it's saying everybody needs a certain amount of resource and somehow the state needs to, or somehow some organization, and I can't imagine this happening without the state and the state is with inherent force. Because how are you going to take these things from one group of people and allot it to another group of people, let alone even finding the right amount of everything that everybody needs? The price calculation problem, which is, I think, from Mises, Ludwig von Mises. So the socialism thing, I just don't get it. I don't understand why people support it. I don't understand why people think it's okay. Why some people say, okay, look, somewhere like Venezuela, they say that's not socialism. Socialism wasn't really there. Then they point at places like Scandinavia and they say, okay, no, that was socialism. Are they being racist in that situation? Are they saying like brown people in, in uh, Latin America can't do socialism, but somehow the white people in Scandinavia can? They're not saying that because even if you did look at it, What's happening in Scandinavia? The situation in Scandinavia have a lot of other issues that go into, and it's not necessarily just redistribution of wealth. The size of the governments are different. The homogeneity of the peoples are different. Their histories are different. The size of the countries themselves are different. You have some countries that think with like 8 million people. Um, the policies that are actually in there, the economic policies that gave them the wealth to be able to have such large states, were not socialist in, in um, were not socialist in nature. So there's this thing that it just it <laughs> really frustrates me. And with that thing, I was thinking of other kind of UBIs to involve in. Uh, so I did a couple of designs. We're gonna have them up in the merch store here. Universal basic. Okay, we're talking about the universal basic, uh, universal basic intercourse thing, and someone was talking about it. I mean, I posted the video up, and some of the comments were talking about the different things that would arise from that, and someone was like, "Okay, now you think about how this would be ran. Think about your average. If you're in the United States of America, think about the Department of Motor Vehicles. Think about the average kind of people you find working in that kind of place." That's the kind of situation your universal basic intercourse would be in. It wouldn't be the most attractive people you can think of. It wouldn't be the most sanitary conditions you could think of. Would you be forced to take your intercourse? Would you be forced to, to give intercourse to other people? There's so many things that would go wrong and horribly wrong with this thing. So we're talking about, okay, that would result in universal UTIs, which is a universal, I mean, uh, urinary tract infections, because it would be just a horrible situation. Then they'd want universal basic health care to do it. And I started thinking of the other kinds of UBIs that could be out there. With the school system, wanting free education for everyone, I think that's universal basic ignorance, universal basic indoctrination. Because there's some people who've realized they've been hampered by going through a low quality public school system. And what would they do when they get out? They Something like universal basic intercourse is a good thing to use because people do like intercourse. People reproduce, we are life forms, we reproduce, it's an urge that we have. And I think a lot of these things are about trying to get in the sexual marketplace value, trying to raise your position in that, trying to be more attractive to mates, trying to be able to pass on your genetics. So if you get in a situation, 
you've been hampered by low education called I mean low quality education you've been indoctrinated you're following these kind of things you get out there would you want the following generation would you want millions of other people to be to achieve a higher level of standard of education than you do thus lowering your level in society you're less competitive no some people not even out of malicious intent but just being like look i'd rather have a better chance in this market so they would say okay let's have everybody join this system or it makes them feel better about the crappy system they had to go through now universal basic ingestion that's another thing just have the food imagine now if they went to all grocery stores and they decided you're going to have to eat exactly what we we let you eat that's already happening somewhat with um the food stamp system in the united states of america it's happening somewhat with the food pyramid which has been shown to be which is the food pyramid for you those who don't know was that pyramid with the guidance showing like okay these you need this this amount of servings of this food, this amount of this other food, this amount of other food. And I think it had carbs, bread, things like that at the bottom, saying these are the largest amount of servings. When it turns out the the food pyramid actually should be flipped for it to actually be what I think is the most healthiest. I mean, there's all these things coming out saying, okay, look, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, may not be the best kind of situation doing it. So as I was building this list and I was trying to think of these things, it was like, wait, the United States of America actually already has very many socialist policies. It has very many of these tendencies. And um, so we're kind of, it's kind of going that way already. <laughs> so universal basic indolence, that's another thing with the laziness, where when people have something they think, okay, we're going to get this supplied to us by the state. Universal basic illness, universal basic illegitimacy, universal basic insecurity, universal basic indulgence, universal basic infertility, I think I might have said that yet, to, or illegitimacy, that goes together. These are things that once you think somebody is going to provide that for you, it's this kind of universal basic insurance. And this is the kind of thing I was describing. If you know, if you're convinced that there is Let's say somebody tells you, you're going to have to walk this tightrope, or here's a tightrope. You can walk this tightrope across this 10 foot gap, but somebody tells you there is a safety net out there. There's an actual net below you. Chances are, if you know the net is there, you won't practice that much about walking across. Somebody tells you, oh, there's no problem. If you fall, you can walk as many times as you want. Whatever is on that other side will be there, whether you like it or not. In fact, even if you wait, sometimes we might even bring you that thing from across there. People might decide, I'm not going to walk across, or if they do decide to walk across, he'll fall as many times as they can, they'll do whatever, even if they really want what's on the other side of that 10-foot gap. Now, if they want what's on the other side of the 10-foot gap, and you tell them, look, here are all the tools that you have on this side to go there. There's this, there's this thin wire there. But you can do whatever you want to get to that other side. There's no regulations. There's no one going to supply something for you. There's no safety net. There's, it's just here. You are here on one side. Get to that other side if you want to. People are capable. People are ingenious. People will find ways. Someone will find a way to maybe build a bigger bridge and walk over there and find a way to bring it back. The people who want to stay there on that side who don't want to cross that gap, they'll find a way to earn something so they can pay this person. The people who are walking the tightrope, they'll practice more. They'll know like if I fall, it's going to, I'm going to drop down here. I could actually get hurt. The people who realize that's a limited actual resource on that other side, they'll put more into actually trying to get there. But this whole idea of universal basic anything is not a positive thing. It leads to horrible, horrible situations. It leads to illegitimacy. It leads to ignorance. It leads to indulgence. It leads to insecurity. It leads to all these things. You have the universal basic protections, and then that just leads to insecurity. So this government thing, it's just, it's just a tough thing. And I think people need to wake up to some of these things and understand that Look, it is not a good idea. Socialism is not a good idea. Universal basic I whatever is not a good thing. Maybe one thing that you might be that I think I might actually get and actually have on a shirt is universal basic individualism. I think that's something that I can come, I can definitely get behind. But yeah, I'll get to that. Um, on a later video and that's it for now and yeah i'm going to be posting up those ubi things in the merch store 
and um, hope you guys <laughs> like those. And um, yeah, that's it for now. If you guys can think of any other UBIs, actually, let me know. And I might just <laughs> I might just grab those from you and post them up. Uh, but yeah, think about the UBIs. Which shirts would you wear? What kind of things? What kind of things do you think would happen and occur from these different UBIs happening? Let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, one last thing. Uh, there's also I have this thing where I say this state worship of the state is actually a religion. This statism thing and socialism is one of the most virulent forms and one of the most um, fundamental forms I'd say of statism. And one of the similarities with the UBIs is indulgences, which was a practice in the church where you could pay the church for forgiveness. You could give certain uh, alms or certain uh, payment to members of the church, and then they would somehow pray for your, on your behalf to the gods, and then you'd be saved. And that indulgence system, I think, was part of what led to, um, I, of course, I should probably look this up and find out, but I think it had something to do with uh, the Catholic Church breaking up and the Protestant movement coming up. But that just shows those two similar things. I think if you're religious and familiar with that, you can kind of understand what happens with these kind of things. Even when you have the state systems of UBI, universal basic anything, when the state is controlling the provision of these resources, it gets to a point where people start bribing because you had the situation where wealthier people were committing sins and things like that and then just going there and just paying the indulgences or the people in general you didn't really have to care that much about what you're doing in your actual life because you just knew like oh as long as i have enough money i can do this and i just pay and then i can get forgiven for it whereas if that wasn't if that system wasn't there the ability for corruption first of all isn't there and second i think it gives the person the individual more responsibility on making sure or trying to take the steps where they don't get in a situation where they have sinned or where they have committed something that would require an indulgence so yeah just that small little addition again like share and subscribe below and uh goodbye